With all that excitement around the parade, it's important to remember it also falls on Valentine's Day. Some businesses that really rely on the holiday see the challenges a parade could bring for one of their most profitable days. Valentine's is our number one biggest day of the year. I think everybody honestly forgets until the actual day gets here. And then they're like, oh, I have to run into the grocery store and get my chocolate covered strawberries, my flowers, this, that. Well, tonight we talk with the floor shop owner and delivery service about the parade. As KSHB 41's Grant Stevens learned, they're confident they found ways to rise to the occasion. Two different businesses, two totally different locations, the same red and gold rain on their metaphorical parade. I was yes and then no, <laughs> because I knew that it was also going to, you know, make a significant impact with a parade here on Valentine's for our business. We've talked to plenty of folks expecting business booms from the parade, but not everything's rosy for flower shops. After all, their biggest day is Valentine's. We end up doing about six weeks worth of business within about 24 to 48 hours. Everwild Florals is right off the parade route at 9th and Walnut. Their big concern is parking for customers among the crowd. Foot traffic is a big priority, so the moment the Chiefs won, they started planning for it reserving these spaces with the city to make sure their customers have a place to be. 200 customers, hopefully, about 35% of their V-Day business, which brings us to deliveries. We're not going to be able to go anywhere near downtown just because of the, the restrictions on tr traffic and roads. Even Hy-Vee out in Shawnee is feeling the seismic shifts from a Chiefs parade, but deliveries aren't the only things being canceled. Schools are being canceled on Wednesday, so you think about that, you'll have Valentine's parties at school shifting to Thursday and Friday. And so really the way we look at it is Valentine's is almost going to be celebrated all week long, and that's how we're gearing it up here at our store. This doesn't have to be a sad story, though. In fact, both businesses want me to tell you they're prepared, ready, and eager for customers. It's just going to look a little different this year. Run the business different than what we have before. A lot of change stemming from the parade. Fingers crossed it's not too thorny. Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.